It really isn't all that hard to find the glass you need to recycle into art. For me, sourcing my glass can be as much fun as the other parts of the creative process, and it can involve meeting new people and exploring new places. My glass recycling journey started with a wine glass broken at a dinner party and a question in my mind, what would happen if I put that in the kiln? Broken or discarded glass is available in many locations. You probably have glass bottles in your own recycle bin right at this moment, and you might also have old glass kitchen items that have scratchers or chips. If you don't, your friends might. If they don't, there's often a nearby thrift store or church sale with bargain prices. You might be supporting a charitable cause. You need to remove labels and ensure that your glass is clean. Then it's time to put it into the kiln. I've talked elsewhere about kilns and kiln schedules. You might want to break your glass for small chunks or keep distinct vase or goblet shapes to incorporate into your designs. Be careful when you break glass. Uh, I put mine in bags and use a hammer. Generally, everything stays contained, but eye protection is still a good precaution. You do have to remember that recycled glass is from unknown sources, so you cannot fuse different types together. Even glass of the same type, for example turquoise gin bottles, could be incompatible from batch to batch. So unless you do some testing, which is too time consuming for me, you will only want to fuse pieces from a single bottle at one time. Each of these flowers is a separate gin bottle, but as mosaic pieces to be glued with epoxy, you actually have tremendous freedom. You can mix whatever you want.